Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, I just want to show you the safe way to disconnect your solar array from the rest of your system. What we're going to use is we're going to use uh, this uh, distribution box as a disconnect. Um, you always want to be disconnecting both the negative and the positive when you disconnect your solar array. And the more panels you have up there, the more voltage, the more amps you're going to have. And you need a way to disconnect it safely. Um, now, some people are jumping up there, you know, and they've got six panels in series. Maybe they've got 120 volts, you know, at five amps. They're up there in the wet and they're uh, messing about with MC4 connectors. So, for me, that's a bit dodgy. You know, you could end up... You know, you could end up uh, in a bad way with that. Another one is some people are using these single pole uh, switches. These types, you've probably seen them before. You know, you use them for turning off the power uh, from the batteries to your fuse box, stuff like that. Um, the problem we've got with them is that only deals with one side it, you know, that's only going to disconnect the positive side, it's not going to disconnect both the negative and positive, and really that's what you want, you want to disconnect both of them, you know. Um, now, if you're working on the MTTP side of things and the batteries, you need to turn off this the power from the solar array, you know, you can't have you can't disconnect the batteries and have that connected you'll end up frying that controller so this is this is what you should be using you should be using a solar array disconnect in the van nice and easy nice and safe and it's disconnecting both the negative and the positive um, what it is is it's a 250 volt 63 amp uh, breaker and it's DC rated. You would never ever use an AC one. Remember, the power coming in is direct current, so you must use a DC a DC breaker and not an AC breaker. Um, and really, this is the way. This is a safe way to disconnect it. What I'll do is, I'll leave a link in the description, and uh, where where I got mine. And uh, I hope this helps somebody. Take care. Bye bye.